Here's a full body workout at home using kettlebells and body weight exercises. You can follow along the workout or modify it to suit your needs. But basically the workout comprises of two giant supersets and one uh, final finisher exercise. The first superset starts with a pushing exercise. So in this case, I'm doing the Bulgarian ring dips, but you can substitute this with regular dips, weighted dips, or any kind of pushing exercise that you want to be working on. And we will be supersetting that with a kettlebell complex that has a pulling and a lower body exercise. So in this case, we're doing the dead stop kettlebell clean to staggered squat. We can do anywhere between six to eight repetitions on each side. You can choose to do one side at a time, complete the targeted number of reps before moving on to the other side. You can do them alternating between the right side and the left side, or you can do them, let's say you're doing six reps in one set, you can do three sets, I mean uh, three reps on the right, and then three reps on the left, and then another three reps on the right, and then three, left, uh, three reps on the left again. So here I'm doing six repetitions, one side at a time. If you run out of breath or get winded a little bit, uh, you should take some time, take a few seconds between each set, uh, catch a break so that you can perform the exercise as explosively as possible. This is one of my favorite kettlebell complex that builds muscle and conditioning at the same time because the dead stop kettlebell clean when performed with a heavy kettlebell the way I'm doing it here it really builds a lot of explosive strength power and muscle and the staggered squat engages your lower body but also your core because of the nature of the exercise being uh, asymmetrical. So that covers the first giant superset, a pushing exercise followed by a kettlebell complex that covers a pulling and a lower body movement. So now we start the second giant superset. We start off with the double kettlebells stiff leg deadlift this is a fairly simple exercise. You uh, try to engage your glutes and hamstrings, and you do this for anywhere between eight to 12 repetitions, depending on the weights of your kettlebells that you have. After that, we will superset that with another kettlebell complex. This time, we're gonna do a kettlebell complex that involves a pulling movement and a pushing movement. So here we're taking our time, catch our breath, and try to recover a little bit before we engage with the following set. This kettlebell complex is gonna be a single kettlebell row to clean to overhead press. So here's the row, and then that's the clean, and an overhead press. This is another awesome muscle building kettlebell complex that you can do at home and integrate this into your workout. This is a great upper body building exercise that is very simple, very minimalistic, only using the kettlebell, but it's really fun to do. This helps to build muscle on your back, your shoulders, as well as build conditioning. And because we're doing it one side at a time, we're engaging our core and stabilizing muscles as well. So here I'm using a 28 kilogram kettlebell and I think I was doing six repetitions on each side. The kettlebell complex is a really efficient way to get a lot of work in because even though we're only doing six repetitions on one side, we're actually doing 18 reps in total because we have three exercises combined into one. We have a row, 
a clean and a press. Each of them were doing six repetitions, which means on each side we have 18 repetitions in total, combined for a total of 36 repetitions if we count the other side as well. This is one of the unique features of training with kettlebells that allows for time efficient training that involves uh, the recruitment of basically your whole body muscles, uh, build strength, explosive power, conditioning, and it's just overall really fun. Generally, in order to focus more on building muscle and conditioning with the kettlebells, I prefer to do exercises that are either explosive or a grinding type exercise. So for example, the kettlebell clean or the row here are explosive movements. And then the overhead press is a slow grind. So this is a nice combination of exercises that build explosive strength and muscles as well as hypertrophy with the grinding exercise and to finish the workout we do uh, five sets of just regular dips but five sets five sets in a row we do the Maya rep style so uh, the first set you do as many as you can so let's say you can do about 20 22 rest for about 15 seconds and then you perform the second set again for as many as you can without breaking form so you may only be able to get maybe 10 12 repetitions on the next set after that you rest again for about 15 seconds or so and you go again for the third time doing as many as you can this time you may only be able to do maybe eight or ten repetitions because you're so fatigued you rest again for 15 seconds and then you go again for the fourth set and this time maybe you're only going to be able to do six repetitions and then the last one you rest again for another 15 seconds and perform the final set for the fifth time and on the last and fifth set you may only be able to get four or five repetitions even though it's just simple body weight parallel bar dips but this is a really good technique to accrue a lot of fatigue in your muscles to induce a lot of fatigue and hypertrophy in order to build uh, muscular strength but also endurance so if you're looking for full body workouts that you can do at home with just a few simple tools like the parallel bars, a pull-up bar, and a few kettlebells, feel free to subscribe to my channel, follow my videos. I will continue to upload all of my workouts as training logs on this channel. Uh, a lot of them are going to be quite repetitive, but if, if anything, uh, it's to show the consistency and hopefully helps to uh, get people motivated and get people going it helps to simplify your workout so you don't have to think about what to do and how to work out at home you can just follow these videos and uh, the workout should be fairly challenging and you'll be able to uh, get a pretty uh, fit strong and well conditioned body as well as always Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next video.